Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we are checking out a short scale pea base sent to us by Dan Lakin over at D. Lakin Bases. Let's check this thing out. This is the D. Lakin 5730, a short scale pea base essentially. However, this is a beautiful, beautiful example of what a short scale pea base can be. The attention to detail here is top notch. Featuring an alder body painted in this gorgeous baby blue, paired with a mint pit guard, I love that contrast there. We have a Lindy Fralin pickup and a master volume and master tone control. For hardware, we have Hipshot USA hardware all around, and we have uh, Dan's logo engraved in the bridge, in this Type B Hipshot bridge. The maple neck here has a beautiful bird's eye fingerboard, and that has 20 frets and is 30 inch in scale. The nut width is a 38 millimeter nut, and the profile is uh, similar to that of a Jazz, I'd say. Uh, very comfortable for a short scale. And then down at the bridge, we actually have 19 millimeter spacing, which uh, makes this a very, very comfortable bass to play. Now let's turn this bass around real quick. Around back, we can see the string ferrules for the string through option here, and we have a nice neck joint. The screws are well spaced for maximum stability. This is a well-designed instrument. We can also have a better look at the back of the neck and the back of the headstock, which again features Dan's logo and some hip shot tuners. And full disclosure, this is not my base. Dan Lakin actually sent this over for me to borrow. Uh, I'm going to be sending this back after I make a few videos with it. So thank you, Dan, for letting me check out this instrument. But this is not mine, so I just want to make that clear. Now I know you guys are wondering, what does this bass sound like? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. <laughs> this is a great little bass. This is a very, very fun bass to play. And it has a very, very fat tone. I mean, listen to that, like. <laughs> oh man. I've really been enjoying the influx of high-end short scale basses, both from mainstream manufacturers as well as small builders. Things like the Stingray short scale, the Seric, this bass are all great examples of what short scale basses can be. Often short scales were looked down upon as a junior model or as an entry level model and were often secondary to their full scale counterparts. However, the short scale basses that we've checked out recently, like the Sarek, this, uh, my Gibson, the, even the Sire U5, I mean, these are all great examples of what short scale instruments can be. And I'm digging it. Ooh, that, yeah, that's just a nice tone. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn the tone down to about 50%, see what that sounds like. Here's the tone all the way down. Mm. 
fun. This is a fun base. One word I can use to describe this is responsive. And I find in well-built short scales, they're really responsive to, I guess, changes in your playing. Um, this is no different. This really, I guess, sings when you want it to, and you don't have to just beat on it all the time. You can use a light touch and then really uh, play with the dynamics. It, it, it's a nice bass and it's, it's, it's good. I, I, I like this. Now let's turn the tone back up to 100% and slap it a little bit. I also really like how responsive these nice short scales are to slapping. I felt the same way about the Sarek. They really just sing when you want them to. Whew, listen to that, listen to that. Yeah, yeah. I see what these short scales are about. And I like it. I like it a lot. Now let's play this with the pick a little bit. Why not? <laughs> let's get my pick. Where's my pick? Here's my pick over here. Oop. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Finally, let's go ahead and put some drums behind this. That was a little late, okay. <laughs> so here's my final thoughts on the D. Lakin 5730. Uh, I like it. I like this a lot. This is a very fun little short scale bass. 
Now this is a very high-end instrument and does carry a high-end price tag in the several thousands of dollars. However, high-end short scales are becoming more prevalent and this is definitely a high-end short scale. Now again, Dan did send this to me on loan. This is not my base. However, I do like what he's doing here and I do think this is a very cool instrument. So thank you, Dan, for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed what you heard. So thanks. Now we will be doing some comparisons with this bass before I send it back, including with my Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass and a Fender American Professional 2 Precision Bass. Stay tuned for those videos in the near future. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the D. Lakin 5730. And as always, until we groove again.